come one, come all, come all. So your last panel, how was that for you? What do you remember about that day? The one that I got kicked off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're like, your last panel. That was like so uh -huh. You see what I tried to do? You see what that I tried That was like to do? super delicate. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, the last panel. I remember thinking I had like a, a decent week, right? Like you kind of go back in your head, like walking into these things and you line up and the panels take forever, first of all. Like you see it and it looks like it's, you know, two minutes of television, but it's hours of deliberation and you stop and you wait and all the things. Nothing in my brain was like, this is the week you're gonna get kicked off. Nothing, completely caught me off guard. Um, I remember being in the bottom two with Eugenia and thinking like, no offense to Eugenia, I was like, She's gonna go home. <laughs> like my photo was a little, and then it it all clicked when she showed the Tyra showed the photo and she was like, "Hey, you're out." What did she say? I don't even remember what she said. Like, pack your bags. Ooh, oh. That's actually perfect because the next question I have the for you is, the I am. Oh my god. Yes. Let me tell you something. Yes. What are your thoughts? I love Top Model, of course, because I'm here doing these things. Mm -hmm. But there are, I have a, a running list of these five things that get on my goddamn nerves. The dubbing. I'm watching the show. The dubbing. Number, possibly number one, is the dubbing. Terrible. It's horrible. As a TV producer who has, like, edited, right? Like, I've sat there and edited, and I've edited tracks into shows. I'm like, do you think we're all that dumb? It was terrible. Like, why didn't anyone tell her? And I mean, okay, here's the thing. To make it even more believable, they could have, once everything was done, they could have said, Tyra, can you can you say a list of these things so we can get the same sounds, we can get the same... Stand back up there. The same ambient, whatever, the same yeah. condition, so it doesn't sound like she's in a studio with a mic in front of her. Yeah. I think that was their way And her of acting sucks. It, listen, it was callous. It was hard. <laughs> it was that. real harsh. I was very upset at the time. I think it was their way of like trying to smooth things over a little bit, you know, like in post production, like, let's smooth this out and make sure our audience knows that like she did graduate high school. Like we didn't keep her from receiving an education and a diploma. <laughs> like we're not that evil. <laughs> you graduated. You just missed a ceremony, Brooke. <laughs> Is that what she said? <laughs> That's what she said. I just remember watching it and I was like, she didn't fucking say that. What? Like that did not happen. What did she say? Do you remember do you remember what she said to you in that moment? I don't remember anything except for, and I'm I'm not gonna get the verbiage right here, but it was something to the tune of, do you know how many girls would be grateful to be here? rather than be at their high school graduation. Like the world would would rather be here. Everybody would rather be here than be at their high school graduation. <laughs> and I was like, oh, like you might be right, but in this moment, like, oh, this is a but You know what? Now, looking back, again, perspective. Thank you, Tyra. Thank you, Tyra. You saved me from a long ass, boring ass graduation ceremony with the itchy cap and a sweaty robe, and I appreciate you. But at the time, is that really how you feel? Tr truly, like oh, does any like? Did you go to your high school graduation ceremony? Yeah, graduation is boring. It's did you boring. love? It? Right, like boring. you, like you probably would have rather not been there. Yeah, right. My boyfriend picked me up after, and we went back to his house. Can I ask, what y'all do at his house? <laughs> ooh, ooh, can I tell you a messy story? This is a yep, messy story, I, bro. Oh, girl. Filthy. Real side note from Top Model Girl. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He was my first boyfriend. This is when I was in high school. And it he was older, older than, I was, I was, uh, he was three years older than me. Yeah, okay. Maybe four. He was 21 because yep. he could buy alcohol. But like I brought him to the house. My mom was a police officer. He he met her. He met my grandparents. Like it was Wait, a whole hold thing. On. Hold on. He brought alcohol to your house and your mom oh, was no, a police no, no, officer. No, 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 okay. no, no. I was no, like, no. wow, you were brave. Oh no, my mom would have killed him. But 
my um my I kind of I kind of lived with my grandparents more so in high school. Yeah, yeah. So my grandma and my grandparents, they were like, "That's his boyfriend. Yes, he can spend the night at his house, or he can go over there and stuff like that." They they would they would let me. Yes, craziness. Shout out to your grandparents. Shout out to my grandparents. Yes. That's so the night that I graduated, they were like, "Do you want to go have dinner and stuff like that?" I was like, "No, I want to go. I want to go chill with my boyfriend." Okay. I wasn't. We weren't sexually active or nothing like that because I was. I was too scared. That's a whole other live, girl. Yeah, we. Um, I was gonna say we could probably save that for a whole other day. Yeah, that's a whole other live. <laughs> I wasn't doing none of that. But the shade was he had a roommate, right? Mm -mm. He had a roommate that a roommate that lived with him. He his roommate would always tell me about this guy that was DL that he was dating, right? So I am i would never forget, I'm sitting in, in the living room on the couch and he walks down the doors and someone knocks on the door, he opens the door and it's a DL boyfriend who turns out to be my minister of music. We're done. I'm <laughs> Girl, I was so gagged. What? I don't even... <laughs> I don't have words. This is a true life story, Brooke. I would not lie to you or the whole listen, internet. Listen, I grew up in the church. <clears throat> his face was all the blood left his face. That happened the day I graduated. I'll never forget. Okay. Was it, ever spoken, <laughs> on a, was it ever spoken of again? You know did what? You him see and him on I, Sunday. I did see him on Sunday. I never said anything. I never, I never, I, hey, we got to work out our own soul and salvation. <laughs> hey. Lord, <laughs> help us. I ain't speaking with no deacons, okay? <laughs> but anyways, here we go. Do you think you going home when you did yeah. on the day that you graduated was mm -hmm. a production ploy? 1,000%. Do, do you think it was because they probably tried to do many things to you throughout the season and you didn't, like, fall for any of it? So it was like, hmm, maybe this is our one chance to get her. No, I think it, it was probably the questioning and all the interviews and all the things from day one was about me being in high school and about how young I was and about how what I was missing out on and giving up. And the line of questioning was always like focused on, oh, you left high school, you left high school, you left high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the target, it was drawn, I guarantee you from casting. You know, there's some things that I wish I could talk about with you guys right now that it, what I'm saying right now, it doesn't make a lick of sense, but in about six, five more months, it'll make a whole lot of sense. Wait, one more. I may have been done something, but... Hold on, hold on. You know what we call that in the business? A tease. Oh, yes, that was definitely a tease. That, that was, was a really good tease. good tease. Those producers remember everything that you say. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, that's their job. That's their and job. You, and you will think and you will feel like they have forgotten about it. And then the day of reckoning will come. <laughs> I.e., I get eliminated on my graduation day. Yeah. And... I mean, that's their job. They're there to, to tease out the story. And to build the characters and to shape the narrative. That's their job. And I no fault to them. I was just very young and I didn't understand how it worked and I just trusted everybody. So that was on me. <laughs> come one, come all,